Okay, um, so my classmate has asked me to talk about anxiety, um, writing anxiety, teaching anxiety. Um, I've never been in a room alone with a camera before, so um, this is interesting. <laughs> There's a little anxiety going on right now. Um, wow. This is an interesting and really um, appropriate time of the semester to be talking about writing anxiety. I think that we have two and a half weeks left in the semester, and somehow I have to come up with two arguments um, that will work for 15 to 20 pages each, um, and I have to plan a class that I'm going to teach next semester, sometime between now and, wow, December 15th or so. Um, so there's huge anxiety for me as far as time is concerned, and I'm always concerned about time when it comes to writing. Um, I guess part of me thinks that if I had more time, I would do better. Um, I'm not sure if that's if that's the case. And well, and with these seminar papers, there's always the understanding that it's only done because it has to be done. And then if you want to continue to work on it so that you can try to get it published, then then you do that. But even still, there's a huge pressure, at least a pressure that I put on myself to do really good work in a really short amount of time. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with um, people-pleasing tendencies. The thought of disappointing um, one of my professors, or all of them, heaven forbid, um, is terrifying to me and it makes me very anxious. Um, I wonder I wonder what my writing would be like if I weren't constantly anxious about disappointing someone and the idea of disappointing someone else makes me disappointed in myself. So there's yeah, a lot of layered anxiety going on there. Well, and especially with writing, I think um, because you have you have anxiety about whether or not your ideas are good. Um, I'm constantly worried that whatever I'm writing is completely juvenile and obvious. Um, I, don't, I don't have a lot of anxiety about sentence level grammar issues. Um, it's, it's not because I think I have grammar mastered. Maybe because I feel like grammar isn't something that can necessarily be mastered or even should be. Um, yeah, so I don't, I, don't, I don't have a lot of anxiety about that. Um, <laughs> which is kind of comforting because that may be the only thing about writing that I'm not anxious about. Um, well, I guess I take that back. One thing about grammar that does make me anxious is the teaching aspect of it because I teach um, 150 and 151, and I think my students in those classes, at least for the most part, expect their English teacher to have pat answers for grammar questions, and most of the time the answers aren't as pat as perhaps my students think they should be. Um, So when I can't give that pat answer, I feel like my students think that I'm incompetent somehow. Um, and that makes me anxious. I've been reading a book the past few days called Blush. Um, Elspeth Proben wrote it, and she talks about how Shame attends writers when <clears throat> their subject is really important to them 
and they don't feel as though their writing lives up to their subject. They don't feel like they're doing their subject justice. I can certainly relate to that. I think there's lots of perfectionism involved um, with academic anxiety. I worry that it doesn't make sense. I worry that it's juvenile and obvious. I worry that maybe somebody else has said it better. Um, I worry that my classmates and my professors are going to somehow think less of me as a person because of something that I've written or some way that I've written. Which is interesting considering that the assumption there is that I'm somehow part of that writing. And, and I don't know that I'm not, but hmm, it seems sort of dangerous to equate myself with my writing. Seems very dangerous.